Hello everybody, this is Brian Chappell again, and today I'd like to explain how you can take a Drupal installation and make it SEO friendly in under uh, under five minutes. Um, it, Drupal is a very SEO friendly uh, CMS solution, and out of the box it's, it's one of the best, but there are still some things you're going to need to tinker with. Um, first off, I would go and download the um, Drupal page title module. Um, it's going to take some tinkering to get this to work, but once you get it set up, this will just allow you to have unique uh, page titles. Um, and it's obviously very important, so you're going to want to do that. If you are having problems getting this to work, um, just revert back to my blog post and it'll kind of explain in detail how to get that set up. Um, next, you're going to want to make sure that you have your clean URLs turned on. And this is real simple, it's just like WordPress, um, uh, messing with that permalink structure. But in here, you just, in Drupal, you just simply turn on your clean URLs, and, and this will give you your, um, you know, your text friendly uh, URLs. Next, you're going to want to download the global redirect module, and this is going to take care of the duplicate content issues that arise from having a directory and a page with the same content. Unfortunately, Drupal does have both versions, so you might run into problems there. Um, this uh, this module will simply automatically redirect the the slash version of the page to the non-slash version, thus creating only one version and, and keeping you out of trouble there. You can actually do this with your HTTP access file, but this is just the easier solution, in my opinion. Um, next, uh, you're going to want to go into your .hc access file and alleviate any canonicalization issues by inserting the code that I, I put on my blog. It's real simple. Um, where it says site.com, you just simply put in what your site is and it'll, that'll take care of that issue quick and easily. Um, you're also probably going to want to block your, your node section of your site um, as well. So you're going to want to go in your robots.txt file and disallow um, your node folder and then this will keep you out of trouble as well. Um, I would also uh, recommend downloading the meta tag module. Um, this allows you to insert you know, unique meta tags and description tags for each page and article you want on your site. I'll show you some of the modules I do have on my site right now. See, so yeah, a global redirects module is pretty important. Uh, the meta tags one and the page title tag. Uh, some of these other ones are just for, for usability or interlinking issues or what have you, but um, the important ones for the SEO um, are global redirect, the meta tags, and the page title one. Um, hopefully this is some help, and until next time.